went there, it was a fucking massive gap. It was a cozy spend. Bring it in. I don't want to tell him. Gorgon's a great timekeeper, a uh, great beekeeper. He doesn't have any bees, but if he did, <laughs> he'd keep them well. I just released a song in December called Shall We Gather. What would you describe your sound as? Uh, bachelor folk. <laughs> <laughs> this year was a great year. We played too much festivals. So we went to Iceland for a month and wrote loads of class songs. We didn't release anything, but we tried to. I think that 2018, musically, was the year that we really figured out what Lemoncello was. Well, we recorded our first EP at the end of 2017, and 2018 we released it in April, um, which was really... It was a big deal for us, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. Bobby, you're shifting past We did a tour of Ireland in April and in July and we did one in September and we did a lot of festivals all around Ireland. I'd love to tally up all the counties that we've played in this year for the first time. best friends and bandmates. We went over to California and organized a music festival. Um, went to New Orleans, saw the greatest music I've ever seen in my life. I uh, lived in New York for a month then and met some really, really special people out there. It was, it, it was nice when I came back because I went to Donegal for a month and I stayed there, um, which I don't get to do at all anymore. Which is your home? Yeah, that's my home. And Donegal people have a very special relationship with Donegal because everybody leaves. Like yeah, almost everybody yeah, leaves. That's true. And it's and the reason why we voted no in the last vote for repeal because all the young people are gone. Like, you know. video from the songs as well. And I played festivals that I'd never been to before and that I enjoyed myself. Uh, it was an inimitable year of growth and learning. It was a year where I went to war with the self and came back on the shield. And it was a year of just travelling to new places within and without, travelling to America a few times, travelling to travelling to Europe. First time having that experience really and being able to the gift of perspection, I suppose, but, you know, and uh, perspective and uh, yeah, growth, life, death, rebirth, all in the one year. I 
was, I was squatting in a house. It was the 10th of January, 10, 10 in the morning. I was evicted by lots of uh, big burly men. They kicked shit out of me. Trauma and like broken rib. The thing you fear the most is like, you know, your home being invaded by men whose sole desire is to kick the shit out of you. And like, that was the worst that could happen. And it happened. And I spent January recovering, writing a song about it. Family was like, she's got to do very well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. like, yeah, you know, you get a mortgage now, buy a house. So I was like, geez, I'm not even thinking about that. But you know, we should not get a job just for the Royal Irish Academy of Music. I was like, yeah, boy, I don't want to. She's like, no, but like, if you want to get a house, I just like for about half an hour, it was just that cycle. Uh, yeah. Went on a couple of tours of, of Ireland in between gigging abroad, and uh, it was me on my own, on my lonesome, and I became road hardened by it because the just the amount of gigging, which was incredible. Somewhere along the way, there I kind of met some, some travellers on the road, and then I had the idea of bringing them the songs and they were gracious enough to come into the songs and then the, the record kind of came about because of that and we have this kind of collective community and uh, it's just really inspiring it's just such a creative class a sense of love. so far this year i've released two albums and as of August this year, I started playing with David King, my dear friend David. And through David, I met very beautiful friends. Oh, we met so many people this year. We met so like, many amazing people. I think that people. is the people are a huge part of why it makes it so amazing. Yeah. to do it and why so fulfilling as well, isn't it? The connection that you have with someone because you play, yeah, because you've played with them mm -hmm. or you play something that resonates with them and they play something yeah. that resonates with you and it's such a sort of, you learn it's such a more expansive friendship. Through virtue of social media and me starting to be on Instagram and posting about what I was doing, playing with different people, people were like, Jesus, Connor's doing fierce well for himself now, yeah, isn't he? He's yeah. like, well, I've been doing literally the same thing yeah, for, for five, five years. years. Like, you know, <laughs> nothing start, has changed. Everyone's like, listening now. encouraged I feel very yeah. like motivated to keep going to make better to improve and expand um, I feel like I know myself more mm. as an artist than I, I, I knew myself the year before mm. but that means that I now know all of the things that I need to 
improve on. So this year has, has been a very, it's been a really big year for us and that people actually want to hear the music, you know, which we didn't really, we didn't know, we didn't know before at all. Kind of like when you're friends, like to, cause they're our friends, they're supportive, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, knowing that there's actually an audience out there that uh, want to hear the music and that it, it resonates with people is, is very encouraging and it just makes us want to make more music and mm. more music that we're really proud of as well. So I think that's what 2019 will be. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's coming in 2019? 2019, my first album. First album's coming. It's brewing. And, uh, that's the only goal that I have for next year because the uh, expectations are seeds of resentment. I'm just acting as a witness, but to get the record out. I've been working as a session musician, which is what I've always wanted to do, and I'm delighted to say that I can finally sustain myself through music. Um, that's how my year has ended, oh, and I'm really delighted. The album that I recorded will be coming out next year, along with another single as well, so I'm excited about that. Playing more to different people. It's been a very productive year. I've got a lot of work done. Uh, I'm very happy with the work that I've done. I'm getting ready to release my third album in about two weeks. I think I've set a strong foundation for Stas and Martin. 2019, we're planning on releasing an EP. We're going outside of Europe for the first time. We're doing a tour of Australia, uh, which would be awesome. I hooked up with Connor from Hatchlings and we did a gig together. And they were like really great, understanding. And I moved to Berlin, finished my album. I got this like great acting job. So from from the start, being assaulted to like landing a cool apartment in Berlin with some great people, excelling in music in a great working environment, and getting this job, basically like winning the lottery. So it was it was a really weird year. Haunted, frightened trees Out to the windy beach